Hi, it's James here from the Sprinkle Donut Forge in Moscow, Texas, and uh, we got a quick, simple little video for you. If you're into forging, uh, I say quick and simple, but my videos tend to drag on. Anyway, you got a 3 inch Phillips head wood screw. Now, this has been heated up and uh, slow cooled to kind of anneal it because these things snap. If you've ever snapped a screw off, you know how brittle they can be under uh, high torque. So, um, I mean, it doesn't really matter to do this first. You don't have to anneal before forging, because once you're at a forging heat, you know, that, yeah, the temper's broken. So, anyway, I was going to do this the other night and didn't do it. So, if you've ever wanted to hang a small thing like some wind chimes or a little doodad or a whirly bird off of your porch or outside area and you need a little hook that just screws in, You've already got a thing with threads, so in essence all you need to do is cut the head off and uh, forge this out into your little hook portion to hold your your item. So let's do that now and we'll see how easy it is to do, or how difficult it is to do, depending if you're me or not. It's probably going to be real difficult because I'm doing it, but you'll get to see the whole thing. So let's heat this up and off with its head. See you in a minute. Alright, let's use the guillotine tool. It'll cut flat on my side, bevel on the other because it's got a butchering die. There we go. The head is off. Back in. We're going to knock about, um, I'd say half of these threads off. Don't matter about little cold shuts too much. I'm just going to gently knock them all down and try to draw this out into a point and poof it over. See you in a minute. Alright. I'm just going to squarely knock down those threads. I'll lean on the horn to deaden the anvil a bit. <clears throat> just gonna soften those threads I'm not trying heavily to blend them because you can create cold shuts and the thing you're gonna be twisting you really don't want to drive those cold shuts deep into the steel just want to kind of soften the barbs of the threads I'll show you in a minute. And you don't need a cannon to kill a mosquito. A little one and a half pound ball peen hammer is ideal for stuff like this. There you go. Took down those threads from here about out to here. Now I'm going to draw that a little narrower on the end. And we'll hook it. See you in a minute. Alright. Remember, you're not working with mild steel. Finish quickly, planish lightly, get it back in. Don't try to straighten it when it's cold. So let's get that back in there, finish this up. All right. Forge. All right. 
Oh yeah, I can darn near touch that. Too cold. More heat. Heat it up and curve it over. See you in a minute. Here we go. Got to start on the curve. A little short heat. Hold on, I'll leave it rolling. Shouldn't take very long at all. There, it's a little prettier. Now we're done. Cool this off, we'll see you in a minute. Well, here's our little hook from a wood screw. And uh, if you're ever screwing these things into a very small hole or directly into wood, you can uh, lubricate it with a bar of hand soap. And it'll help you. But if you drill a very small pilot hole, you should be able to screw this thing in no problem by hand and hang your little wind chimes and stuff. Uh, how pretty the hook is depends on how much time you want to put into it. Well, I hope you gleaned something from this, and uh, I hope this might help you with a little hardware project. And that's all I got for this evening. Until next time, bye.